Okay, counter's on. Hi, I'm Joe Sondow. I'm going to talk for a few minutes about Selenium. Uh, how many people have used Selenium before? Okay, so this is going to be an intro. If there's interest, maybe I'll do a more advanced one um, later in the week. My company uses Selenium ad nauseum, and we've gone through every headache we could find and more. Um, Selenium is a tool in Firefox for auto, um, creating test cases of complete website integration functionality. A little bit to the side. Yeah, you're in the, you're in the light. You're off the end there. Yeah. And uh, the way it works is you go uh, get an add-on called Selenium IDE. And what this is is a Firefox plugin which uh, starts out, let me just delete these, and it's going to end up, if I hit this little record button in the corner, it's going to toggle on and start recording. I go to the website that I want to test and I start to right click on things or I single click if I want to go there and I get in here a recording of open this, click on that and later on I can assert things and uh, go that's, on from there. That's not a very good website. <laughs> we, that's, that's a bug. So back here, <laughs> if I right click on this, I can say certain things down here are added to my contextual menu. Like verify text present, I want to make sure that this is somewhere on the page. Or I can go for show all available commands. This has more uh, suggestions of what Selenium thinks you probably want to do. There's actually several hundred commands, but this is the popular ones. So I can do something like verify element present, link equals Carl Quinn. Make sure that this thing is present. Let me cut out one of these commands and play this test. So it's going to open slash on that server. The server's base URL is up here, and then it's going to go verify element present. My test is green, it has passed. But if I want to find the link that has my name, I am not a member of Java Posse and not present on this page, this test is going to fail, and it's going to turn pink because that line failed. Uh, error falls down here. So this is fine and dandy if I want to test things really briefly by myself, and this is saved. When I save this file, it's going to be an HTML file. And uh, I'll just save it as my test dot html and I can look in here at the source and it looks like this bunch of boilerplate stuff then it's a table open this this so there's three TDs for each thing for each command and here's the punchline is I don't have to just stick with html although I can open html files in this very handy editor but I can also go format java or c sharp for PHP, python or ruby and I see the Java equivalent. Ooh. This right here, I can run in a JUnit test. And this is what my company does. We have a two and a half hour process that goes through every page on our site, every case we could think of, and through JUnit, runs from this Selenium object, calls a Selenium server from another Selenium server jar, and uh, tests everything about the website through calls to that server using an actual browser. And it uses or IE or Firefox described per test. Uh, and let's just do, I got another minute, I'm going to show you another couple of commands. Uh, the commands are, if I go back to table, this is the preferred environment for doing all this testing, doing the writing of the tests. So I'll go back to doing this. Now, best practice is to add IDs to everything to make your website testable, because this text is very likely to change. What if Carl adds his middle initial at some point? The text could be wrong, functionally correct. I want to make sure that the element is present. So what I would prefer to do is go to the co go to the source of this website, and for this a tag down here, this is Firebug, by the way, if you haven't used it, very nice. Uh, I would add an ID saying this is a link to Carl, and I can do this for basically anything logical where you know that in the future the website will still have this functionality. So, for example, if I want to make sure that there is at least something that says Java Posse number something, I can say uh, verify text present somewhere on the page, and then I can use a regular expression if I want. I can say there's got to be something that says Java Posse number and then something 0 to 9. There's got to be something like this on the page, and there is. So I can go through and then I've got, if I can't remember all the commands from the internet, I've got them all here and they're extremely extensive. I can verify not selected options. What's that? Well, I got reference down here. I click on reference, I read the API right here, find out how to use it, what to put in the target box and the value box, and make our, my website and all my JSPs and HTML finally testable. Wow. Awesome.